A lot of people come to me and they say tapping is woo woo. And while I have a lot of compassion for them, I also have some firepower to send back to them. So let's talk about what tapping really is. Tapping is a blend of modern psychology, Chinese medicine, and neuroplasticity. So from the Chinese medicine standpoint, there are these meridians, these energy lines that bring prana or life force into the body. The understanding is that it flushes energy to clear out struggle and trauma and emotional pain. Recently, they did a test to prove that these meridian lines exist. They actually injected a blue dye into the meridian points. And what they saw was that the meridian lines all lit up along those points. There are also these neural clusters from the nervous system that link into the veins and the blood. And they are all clustered around the meridian points. So then when you tap or you put an acupuncture needle on those points, you're also stimulating the nerve endings in those clusters as well. So when trauma happens, not only are you clearing it out of the energetic body, you're actually clearing it out of the stored trauma in the nervous system. So then we jump into neuroplasticity. And that's all about rewiring the brain, choosing new beliefs and having a new way of seeing reality and creating new habits, right? When you're tapping on a fear, and as you're breathing love into the fear, they show that the pathways that are glued in place, shooting back and forth an emotional reaction or a habit or a perception, they're glued in place. But when you start bringing love, empathy, and forgiveness to it, the protein bonds that are gluing it shut actually melt away and the synapsis opens up so that you can rewire your brain to choose those new beliefs, to have a new experience of reality. So all of this and so much more I could go into, but the truth is the proof is in the pudding. But in order to eat that pudding, you gotta be willing to feel your emotions. And so many of us just don't wanna go there. We would prefer to defend, to deflect, to make an excuse and to numb. And so what I would always say is if you are ready to get past all the numbing and actually feel for a moment what is going on inside of you and tap, you'll clear it out really quickly. If you are the kind of person that is ready to dive in and feel really deeply and let it move through your system, then come and join me in my Mind Valley Masterclass. Let's step into our emotional mastery together.